Okay, thankfully my vlog finally exported. It was nine gigabytes and took probably three hours <laughs> in total to export. So I'm gonna work on getting that up. But when I do that, I just finished filming two videos and a TikTok. I have one more TikTok to film and to get dressed because I'm in a sweater and shorts just because I was, you know, film from the waist up. But I'm trying to get this to upload. I'm gonna show you a healthy dose of my reality right now, which is my house is a disaster. So we're gonna get ready. The rest of the day, it's two o'clock. Um, I should be completely done. Down here. I should be completely done because my chair is over there by three o'clock, like filming the TikTok, getting dressed, making this back area at least presentable so that I can film. And then we're going to, I've got to run to Aldi because I need to just grab two things. I need honey and I need olive oil. I have no olive oil and I always need honey. So while I remember and I don't forget, I'm going to grab that. And then um, we're going to do like a speed clean of the house because I feel as though I've just let the house go this week. Like it's been kind of crazy. So we're going to do a speed clean of everything, kind of just pick up, put things back to where it goes. And, um, then I'm going to run, like I said, go to Aldi and then I'm going to spend the rest of my day evening situation making a cool yummy recipe that Scott had sent me. So I'm going to share that with y'all. And um, that's what we're gonna get up to. I filmed, like I said, two videos. I have another video to film tomorrow, um, which is gonna be my recommendations for the Sephora VIB, whatever, sale that's happening. I'm gonna tell you what my recommendations are and then what I'm actually going to be purchasing with like what's in my cart. And um, I don't think I've ever done it, or maybe I've done like one recommendations video before, but it's been a really long time. So I kind of wanted to just do a recommendation from somebody who used to work at Sephora um, and has tried so much stuff. I wanted to do what my recommendations are and then what's in my cart. So that, I think the sale starts next Friday. I'm not Rouge, I'm VIB. I'm like very small amount away from Rouge. I'll be Rouge by the end of this. But um, yes, I want to partake in that. And then I still think there's one more sale like around Christmas-ish time. I think there's one more. Could be wrong this could be the only one by the end of this year but uh that goes live next weekend so i want to have um that filmed uh this week so that i can edit it for next weekend or before by next week so that is the only other video that i have to film tomorrow and then i need to spend the rest of my day tomorrow oh, this is gonna take forever it's almost it's 9.8 gigabytes it's over an hour long vlog. Um, what else was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow will be more of a low key sort of editing day. I might go to, to Starbucks and get some editing done. But let's upload this vlog. So I can't leave the house until this vlog is uploaded. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Oh, I realize I haven't done links or thumbnail. Psych, my day is not gonna be done at three o'clock. And I don't mean done, like I still have to film for the the recipe and stuff but I mean like <clears throat> relatively ish done I didn't work out again today I'm still so sore but that's okay hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to work out but that means I started work at like 8 30 this morning eight o'clock eight o'clock this morning yeah so we've been knocking it out yes it says 35 minutes to upload this video fun so this is what we got going on in the office. Mm -hmm, all that needs to be picked up. Yep, yep, yep. We've got a bunch of clothes that I need to put on my Poshmark slash take to donations. This pile of clean laundry for Arlo's room has been sitting there for about two days now. This needs to be trashed. Uh, nothing's wrong with Arlo's room. This diaper pail is sitting in the middle of the floor since Tuesday. These are dirty clothes from daycare. <laughs> These are my shoes, some dryer sheets. These are just pants, clothes, a mess, my nail, but like this is just, it, it's not dirty, it's just crap everywhere. Crap everywhere. 
I'm pretty sure the downstairs is somewhat clean, but I could be wrong. So, like I said, we're gonna upload this vlog. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on some music. We're gonna speed clean. And then we're going to uh, get the rest of life done. So, let's do it. Okay, first room done. These are returns that I need to bring my car. Um, that I wanna rip open this bottle and see if there's anything left in there. Um, yes, this room's tidied, so we're good. Let's move on to the next. Just finished filming my get ready with me. I want to TikTok myself to edit it, but super simple. It's this new Abercrombie sweater that I just got that I love. These old H&M jeans. My Birkenstocks. My wrinklers. What you doing? Um, and I finished like cleaning up. Whoop. For the most part, <clears throat> we still need to go. But Arlo's clothes are cleaned up. This box needs to go downstairs. It's like this is done. That's done. I picked up the dirty clothes that were in front of it. And my room is clean. My bed is made. And, oh, we didn't clean my bathroom. So it's like, let's do that real quick. Ugh. So I just like, I have more editing and whatnot to do but <clears throat> I really need a little break and something to eat because I'm really freaking hungry so that's what I'm gonna go to now Ta -da! I typically like to clean up as I go and my hair <coughs> <coughs> my hair feels filthy so that's why <coughs> it's out of my face I'll bring that box down later I gotta bring my pot <laughs> and tea down now um, but typically I like to pick up as I go so I don't have like just giant messes everywhere like the downstairs isn't out at all <coughs> good night all right, so I took out some yep chicken, which is done. I'm gonna make that butternut squash lasagna -y thing for dinner tonight. I need to run. Maybe I don't need to run to Aldi. Let's see. Let's look at the recipe and see what we got. And um, yeah, let's run some lights in here. Feeling like I got a lot done, but I still have more to do. I just need a little. A little break to kind of separate my day a bit. What am I in the mood to eat? Sunny angles, killing it with the angles. I got my vlog up, which took a million years, but it's up. And um, let's heat up some soup. I had a piece of toast for breakfast. All I've had. Ugh. Sometimes <clears throat> I swear, like. I just get too caught up in life. This soup is so freaking good. Okay. I don't know what Scott did with all of it. 
but it's good. And next time he makes it, I'll let you know. Okay. Let's look up this recipe. I've never followed one of these, one of this girl's recipes before. Scott had just sent it to me. I still have butternut squash on my hand. Okay, hold on. Let me see. So he had sent it to me. It's by Dining with Skylar. Um. So let's. Oh. Is that Skylar? No, it's not Skylar. We know. I was gonna say, is that the Skylar I know? But it's not. Um. Okay. Let me just. I like to like screenshot the recipe so that I can refer to it. I That's why I really dislike Instagram recipes via reels because I just feel like they're hard to like <clears throat> um, to keep together. I'm taking literally like three shots of this. Okay. Anyhow, how much oil do I need? I think she uses butter, so I need olive oil, but I don't think I need a ton, so maybe I don't need to run to Aldi right this second, which is awesome, because I don't really want to. So, let's eat this soup. I think I'm gonna make a... Oh, a grilled cheese to go with it. Cheese. Perfect. Okay. And then Scott, like, I wouldn't even think to do this. Scott's a genius. He made thyme and sage oil with brown butter. It smells so good. So he said to just put a couple of drops on my soup, which he put a lot on it last time and it was like almost too much. So this time he's like, just do about five drops and then also do a little bit of a little bit of chili oil. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna throw it in the air fryer <laughs> to toast up the cheese. Um, could do the oven, but. My poor little green onions. Apparently my fridge was too cold and the thing froze solid. So they look a little bit rough because they got frozen, but we're gonna make that work still. All right, this meal has like very little protein. So I'm probably gonna be hungry in a bit, but I figured I just need something quick now before I start cooking, because then I'll be hangry. Cheese, all right. So I know that this recipe does not call for, nope, my things, I ran out of space. Hold up, same plate that I used for my toast this morning, because who the heck cares? All right, so our little open face, ah, hots. Grilled toasted cheesy bread. Um, and our soup, but let's chat while I scarf down some food. What I was saying is this recipe doesn't have any protein in it, like the way that she makes it. I've just been craving bread so much lately. So good. Um, all right, so the recipe that she created does not have meat in it, but I'm gonna put ground chicken in it. The key for that, Scott was like, do Italian sausage. Sometimes I just feel like Italian sausage is just so like greasy and just like, no. So I'm gonna season the chicken like a super strong Italian sausage. Um and use that in there. And um, yeah, we're gonna play around and see how it goes. Uh, but I'm gonna eat first. Cause your girl's hungry. Mm -hmm. mm. The soup is killer. Mm. So good. Next time I swear I'll share the recipe. So, I've decided that I actually am gonna go to Oldie because 
I would like to have a little glass of wine while I make dinner tonight since it's gonna be a fun dinner and I'm gonna finally like I feel like recently I well I've tried to do this but I'm gonna really practice it tonight uh, I used to love like the art of cooking and not just cooking to get it done with so today I'm going to allow myself to enjoy cooking and um, I'm excited about it because I just feel like recently I've just been like ah! does it show <laughs> um, and so I'm gonna go get a glass of wine or a bottle of wine from Aldi sorry I scarfed my food down so dang fast I was hungry um, I'm gonna get a glass of wine and I'm also gonna look at spices and see if they have fennel because fennel is like one of the number one ingredients in um, sausage that makes it taste kind of like sausagey. So I'm gonna see if they have that. Get some wine and get some oil and get some honey. Let's go do that real quick and then come back. I also think I just need a little outdoor time. Oh, I need to go grab my sunglasses because I remembered that I lost them upstairs. So let's do it. But yeah, that was freaking phenomenal. And it actually, I feel pretty satiated. So. Hopefully I'll stay full. But you know, like when you're cooking, you always just like. Just me? No, not just me. I know it's not just me. So I noticed the other day, well probably like a couple weeks ago, <clears throat> that um, there was like, in our, our garage has like drywall, it's unfinished. And then at the baseline there's concrete. And then um, in the corner, like where our house is, like the, the wall that like our house, or the wall that is like lines up to our house, backs up to our house. I don't know what I want to say. I noticed that there was some insulation like coming out and I was like, I think we've got a little rodent friend. And, um, and I told Scott about that. I was like, maybe we should tell the landlord. And so then he um, was in the garage the other day cleaning it to put out the trash and saw a little mouse, like a little field mouse, like a little, little guy. And um, he was telling me about it <laughs> and Arlo. And I was like, I want to hold him. And so we're like, yeah, we're not keeping the mouse. But he did in fact like burrow into our insulation that like is the wall into our house. Um, not into our house, he didn't burrow into, but it's, anyway, he's doing it for warmth, obviously, because it's getting cold, which is when I noticed. Um, and so Scott ordered some, like, humane traps that just, like, trap the mouse without, like, killing it. Um, and he, we're just gonna let it outside. Um, I, I don't know if that's any better, honestly, because I feel like he's probably not going to survive in the wild, but maybe he'll find someone else's house to crawl into that, that doesn't care. Um, we obviously don't, it's, we don't want that to happen. So, anywho, um, I saw it when I was getting, at, the whole point of that is that I saw him. He's so yiddle beetle. But yeah, I saw him while I opened the garage door, he just like scurried away. And um, I, I didn't, I saw him for like a split second because he hid behind stuff, but. Y'all, I didn't even know I liked cream soda, but this is so good. Anyhow, yeah, so we have a little mouse friend. I think Scott's humane animal traps are supposed to come today. And then we'll just like take him out in the field out back and hope he doesn't come back, but I bet he will. I feel like our complex is having issues with windows um, because a lot of people's windows are getting replaced and it's making me worried that like we might have something wrong with ours and I just don't know it. But there's probably like 30 people in our place that's like their windows are clearly taken out and boarded up and they're like replacing a giant window. So I'm like, oh, do I need to figure that out? Uh, it's not my responsibility, but again, I'm just trying to be a nice tenant and let the dude know because he's, his place is still under warranty. Okay, let's run to Oldie. I feel like I'm finally dropping the S's in all the grocery stores. I never used to say Publix's. <laughs> so, all right, let's run to Aldi. Let's find ourselves a little glass of wine, a bottle of wine, some oil, some honey, and what else? Oh, some 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 seasonings. 
maybe some fennel. Who really knows what we'll find? All right, let's do this. And I love that it's finally cold enough that I can leave beverages in the car and not have to worry about it. Yeah. Let's do this. Whenever I go in there, I'm just like shocked how I get it all in my hands and still carry this all out. So we got two different bottles of wine. I got a Cabernet Sauvignon. I haven't tried this one before. It was like 14 bucks. And then I've tried this one before and I liked it. <sighs> Um, Pinot Noir, this Peaks and Tide. I don't remember how much this one was. She didn't card me. I'm just remembering this. That one was $12.99. $12.99, $14.99. It's not bad. Um, grabbed some ground sage. They didn't have fresh sage and they did not have fennel. So grabbed that olive oil I needed. Honey, this is mostly just for like recipes and stuff because if we're using like really, really good honey, I want to get local or like get a good local honey, but this just for like random things. And then they caught me with these. They're too dang cute. These little Reese's Bat cookie kit. I thought Arlo would be in love with that. And then how adorable are these Rice Krispie treats? Fun fact, I hate Rice Krispie treats, but I'm pretty sure Scott likes them. And it'd be just like a fun little thing for us to do maybe tonight. We'll see how Arlo is feeling tonight. If not, we can do it tomorrow night, so... Yeah, that's what we got from Aldi. Let's go home. There she is. Hopefully you can't see my address. Mousetrap! Okay. So I realized when I got home that Scott came home. He wasn't feeling well, I guess. So he came home around 4.30. So it's almost 5. Um, I chopped up some stuff already because... Sorry. I was just chatting with him. Um, so I cut up one butternut squash, seeded it, an onion, some garlic. And then I did make my little ground chicken sausage Thing. I put a lot of steak seasoning and just a bunch of like Italian seasonings just stuff that you think of when you think of sausage I threw that in there To cook that down and I think it tastes pretty dang good. So that's done and set aside I have some water salted and I'm about to cook my noodles I just Busted out the big cutting board for all this, but I didn't and now I'm using three cutting boards but well, basically um, Scott had told me because I had told him that I just got back from Aldi and um had to get regular honey because last time he's like just go to the Amish market and I was like I don't even know where the Amish market is and he was like oh it's right up the street and he's like and I was like okay well next time you're there go get that and then I was he was telling me um yeah they have leeks too and I'm like why don't you go there and get me some leeks because I needed leeks for this recipe but they didn't have any at the mark any of the markets that I went to so I um just substituted with green onions but he's gonna go to the Asian or the Asian market, the Amish market for me, and get some um, get some leeks and some honey, and then go pick up Arlo. So this is not gonna be a super chatty cook with me because clearly um, I'm gonna have a little man running around here in a couple minutes. So yeah. Cutting up some spinach. The recipe called for two cups of spinach. It's gonna vent for 2.5 seconds. Sweatshirt Scott wore today. Backpack Scott wore. These are all those clothes. Shoes Scott unboxed today. His shoes that he was wearing. Things he got in the mail. His lunch. His car key. I don't even know how he's driving. I don't know who I pick up more after Arlo or Scott. Anyone else? Can someone relate to me? And I have a golf green in the middle of my floor. Ah, yep, I need a glass of wine. I'm obsessed with these little wine corks that my mom has. So cute. All right, let's open the one that I've never tried before. If you go to Aldi, what's your favorite red wine? I'm a red wine girl. I'll drink white wine, but... I'm preferably a red wine girl lately. This just helps aerate the wine. Especially nice for cheaper bottles of wine. Cork it. So cute. Kiss. I love it. All right. I'm not 
mad at it. I feel like it needs to sit for a little bit longer. I'm also gonna try to catch my second favorite part of the day. My first favorite part of the day is when Arlo wakes me up in the morning, even though I hate getting up in the morning. He's just always so freaking sweet when he comes in in the morning. He just comes over to the side of my bed and says, I'll watch Coco Melon. <laughs> um, or he brings me some random thing from his room. And then my second uh, absolute favorite way to end every single one of my days is when he comes home from daycare. Scott always picks him up and he comes walking up the stairs and I'm cooking dinner and he, the first thing he does when he opens the door is says, Mama! And then hovels upstairs and gives me the biggest hug, running hug. I'm obsessed. And it reminds me of when my mom used to pick me up from the daycare from my in-home daycare um, and she would say that I would always just like run from across the room and just yell mommy and run and jump into her arms and she'd say that was her favorite part and now I understand why it's the best it's the best to feel that loved so Scott was able to find the leeks but he's not home yet I just put my onions which my leeks are gonna go in here as well and I don't have sage, but I used the sage oil that Scott made the other night to put in there because he used up all the sage. Um, my water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my lasagna noodles in there. Oops. I used to call lasagna lasagna. I don't know why, when I was a kid. It needs a whole box. So I just want them to soften up and push them down. cook those in there and then once they're cooked then they come out and the squash goes in the same pot right, let's drain my passata i don't want to drain it though because it's such a little bit of squash so i'm just gonna carefully they're not fully cooked you're gonna finish baking them. So. Maxwell! <gasps> Come here, stink booty! <gasps> Come here! Oh. Raisins! Those aren't raisins? Yeah. Oh, daddy has raisins? Did you just fart on me? No. Yes, you did. I did. You tooted? No. Yes. I folded. You farted. No. There are some big old leakies. What's that? Got a bunch of ginger and turmeric. going. This is the base of our filling. Oh, that looks like a hard piece. I'm gonna get him out of there. Oh. All right. It's go time. Time to add the butternut squash and everything into the mixture. In goes goat cheese. In goes mozzarella cheese. This is honestly the cheesiest, ooeyest, like stringiest, gooeyest thing I've literally ever made in my life. Okay. I just finished mashing it up. I just used a fork and a whisk <laughs> to do that. I didn't want to use a fork in this pan, so I've been really gentle because I don't want to scratch the bottom of it. So, all right. Here we have it. I have my noodles. My pans are all greased up. My oven's preheating. Let's assemble. Oh, you have the dog poop? 
Yeah. Awesome. That's the dog poop right here. Oh, he stepped in dog poop. That's for daddy's shoes? What? Oh, yeah, for daddy's shoes? That's for daddy's shoes? Yeah, daddy bought new shoes today. You like them? I don't like them. You don't like daddy's new shoes? No. Oh, weird. Yes. I have a face mask on. So, I'm like, just chilling editing in bed, doing a TikTok edit, and um, I'm like, my tooth is really feeling weird. So I get up, stand up to see that, yes, it's hurt my tooth. So I don't think I was vlogging when this happened to me. Well, the first time it happened to me was in, it was in college. I was riding on the shoulders of someone and we were intoxicated and uh, I fell, hit my face, hit my teeth on concrete. That was the first strike. You could see a uh, like fracture hairline in my tooth, but nothing happened. I was in California, I was doing laundry one day. And my laundry became out of balance. So I went to go look at it. I look like I have sideburns. I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> uh, I went to go look at my laundry to rebalance it because it was a really old washing machine. And when I was doing that, I was like in the, it was a top loader and there was a, the dryer was on top and I put the laundry soap on top of my dryer. Well, in that moment, the laundry soap fell and hit me on the head and I, my front tooth on the, uh, um, dryer or the washer and I had chipped it worse than this, way worse than this, like the whole side of it. So. When I was in the dentist, they basically were like, you're gonna need veneers one day. And I'm like, I really don't want veneers. And um, they were like, okay, well we can temporarily just like patch it up a little bit. I'm like, cool, just do that. And he's like, but no guarantee how long it's gonna last. I'm like, yay, whatever. Well, I was fine for like the past four years. So I was spending my entire afternoon frantically trying to find a dentist to take me. I know it's not that bad, but it's bad enough and we have like a party to go to tomorrow, so I like don't want to have to worry about my dang janky tooth. So I was able to get a dentist appointment today at five. So pray that they can help heal me. This is bad. Oh Lord, only me. Only me. Lord's got massive a thing, but the mouse. He caught the mouse, and he's sleeping on a piece of bread that Scott gave him, and he ate the peanut butter. He's so cute. I honestly can't handle how cute he is right now. He got sweetie locks, aww. I don't know if you can see all the like fluff and stuff where I noticed he was crawling in. Okay, I have really bad anxiety right now. Um, We're gonna talk through it before I get the address to where I gotta go. Okay, so fun fact, I don't know if I ever t like talked about this, that I, um, when I, I went to college my first, I think for two years, I, well, even in high school, I was a pre-med, um, what was it called? I went to the health, a health academy, basically where it like exposed you to different parts of the healthcare system and like kind of introduced you to what you might want to do in the healthcare industry while you were getting college credits. So I went to uh, a community college that exposed me to different things and like got to see a lot of different surgeries and all that sort of stuff to figure out what we wanted to do. And um, then went to college for I wanted to be a pediatric dentist. I had spent time at a pediatric dentist um, and fell in love with just everything about it. And I loved the dentist. Oh shoot, I have Amazon packages. Hold that thought. I don't want to run them over. Okay. Anywho, um, I had wanted to be a pediatric dentist. So I went to the University of Tampa and that was my major, pre-dent. Um, and then obviously I switched my major. Uh, but anywho, I loved the dentist and I wanted to be a dentist. 
So now that having dental anxiety, the reason I have dental anxiety now at this point in my life, I think is attributed to when I cracked my tooth, no, even before then, when I was in um, college, I was home for Christmas break one year and I had gotten a cavity filled in this tooth. It was my first ever cavity. Well, the dentist actually filled the cavity in the wrong tooth. He drilled into a perfectly healthy tooth to fill a cavity that didn't exist. Um, so when I was still having, oh my goodness, girlfriend, go ahead. I don't know where you're going. Um, when I was still having pain in my tooth, I went to a dentist in Florida and they were basically like, um, well, you have a cavity in this tooth, this tooth, um, he drilled into your nerve. So I was now dealing with, oh, thank you. I was now dealing with um, nerve pain and had to have a root canal because he had drilled into a perfectly healthy nerve. And <laughs> that tooth didn't even have the cavity in it, which is really funny. He looked at the x-rays from the other doctor. Anyway, um, he filled the wrong tooth and caused me way more damage. So I had to get a root canal and then um, I was supposed to get a crown and I never went and got a crown on my tooth. And then I was back home for, for winter break and I was eating a piece of frozen chocolate and completely snapped the tooth in half. Had to get it bonded and then ended up getting um, a crown put on my tooth. So fast forward to when I tripped my tooth in California, I went to the dentist and um, they looked at this tooth and said something was wrong with it. And like, basically I had over, it was like over $2,000 worth of dental work done. And they told me, like, I paid, that was my out of pocket. I think it was even more, to be honest with you. I think just this was, a, it was a lot. Anyway, um, I had just this weird feeling like they just kept trying to take more and more money from me. Like, I just felt like nothing is wrong with my teeth and just like, leave it alone, da 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 da. And they kept telling me my insurance ran out. And so everything else was out of pocket. And I was like, uh, okay, but whatever. And so then I randomly went to another doctor for what I cannot remember I literally can't remember what prompted me to go to another dentist but I did and I told them like yeah like it was just like a generic dentist and I was like you know like I have a dentist but like I just feel this like oh they were telling me that I needed a deep cleaning like I needed to be sedated and I needed to deep clean and I was like no like I, I take really good care of my teeth da 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 and then I went to this other dentist and they were like no you you don't need a deep cleaning. Your teeth are fine. Some dentists just like to get the most out of what they can get. And these dentist people were basically like, they would try to give me as much as I could to like, that my insurance covered me even if I didn't need it. It felt just uncomfortable. So basically I went to the other dentist and they're like, you still have insurance. I don't know how it works, but basically they were like, they lied to you. You don't need this, you don't need that. So it just gave me this uneasy feeling because I really trusted them and I really like felt like they thought like they I don't know I felt this good vibe from them and then I felt like they just took advantage of me and cost me a ton of money and just gave me this really uneasy feeling and so since then I've just always had a bit more dental anxiety um so yeah I feel like that was really randomly. But um, yes, that is why I'm feeling a bit anxious right now. I always just have this sort of like, almost like going into a car dealership vibe now. Like they're not just going to, like I have to question everything that they recommend me to do. And that is the worst feeling from a doctor dentist. And I get they're trying to make their money, but don't put me through like something that I don't actually need just for the sake of you making money. And that's a really scary and I think hard part about the medical industry because you're meant to, I always grew up just, you trust them. You trust what they're gonna do and you trust that they're doing the right thing and they have your best interests at heart. And um, I guess in a couple of my experiences have led me to feel it a different way. And so that's why I always have just a little bit of anxiety around these sort of things. And I just feel like I'm going into this like lion's den of them just gonna be like, you need da 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 da. And I'm gonna just be like, just fix what I need and move on. Like I don't have you a problem with you telling me I need this, this, and this, if it's truly what I need. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel as though uh, it can go, 
it can become a little bit salesy. So that's 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 how I'm feeling right now. But it's fine. We're gonna get him to fix my teeth. Scott says it's not even noticeable. I notice it. I know I'm going to need to get veneers. And I know so many people, I feel like veneers are like the hype. Everybody's getting them. Everyone loves them. And I am the complete opposite. I do not, my teeth are, remind me of my dad. I don't wanna get rid of them. And I know you can get the veneers to look the exact same. But like, sometimes I look at people who have gotten veneers and I'm just like, you look like, like you have like, fake teeth you know it's, that's just not a look that I particularly want I almost like when teeth are imperfectly perfect they have like a little bit of character flaw to them and just different things I don't know I've just I've never had an issue with my teeth so I remember when they told me I was gonna need to get veneers eight veneers all over my front teeth to make it look natural and I started crying like I, I legit cried in the seat in California because I was like I don't want to do that I don't want to do that and I know that maybe in the future I will but just bond my tooth and it was weird they had like a separate person come in and tell me all my different payment options or different options and what the price of them were and they started with eight veneers at like 40 and that wasn't 40 grand I don't actually remember the price but I was just like and then they ended with them just putting a bonder on it and sealing the tooth and I'm like for like what 300 bucks or something I'm like yes clear, clearly I want that option <laughs> like um but when she started to go off with veneers I, w I was like I'm gonna start crying and she's like well do you want it her first question was do you want to keep the tooth and I'm like keep the tooth lady like what are you talking about of course I want to keep my dang tooth and then she gave me all these options and I was just like you're giving me and she's like I can tell you're kind of upset right now and that's when I like burst into tears I'm like you're literally making me feel like I just want to get my tooth like patched up a little <laughs> I don't know it felt like it's like going to a tailor and needing like a, a stitch in your pants. And she's like, do you want me to just give you new legs? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, which is a very uncomfortable feeling. So hopefully talking through this, I feel like I'm working myself up. Um, I can I can just kind of process through my, my emotions and my anxiety a little bit and I don't cry in the seat. But I didn't wear mascara for the sole reason that if I do cry, it happens. I swear, I'm not like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where this comes from. I do. I just literally told you where it comes from. But it, sometimes it feels irrational. It doesn't need to feel rational to anyone else. It's me and my feelings. So that's where we're at. <sighs> my appointment's in 15 minutes. I got here a little bit early, so I wasn't stressed. And um, it's gonna be a okay but I'm having some California flashbacks. So I just wanted to process them through with you. Um, I was talking to Scott like through my brain and like, I was like, well, I'm going in at five and they close at seven. So the longest they can keep me there is two o'clock or two hours. Like I can handle two hours, like if worst case scenario. And he's like, is this really how your brain functions? And I'm like, yes. And he's like, wow. And I'm like, I know. I don't know why I work myself into these sort of just I don't know it's it's not good <laughs> but it's kind of who I am and um, I hate that about myself but I know that that's just kind of how I am and he's like I couldn't even imagine being in your brain and I'm like yeah it's not all the time it's not every scenario do I get anxious but certain situations I really really do and this is one um, so yeah <clears throat> We can do this. We are strong. We are powerful. If they try to feel, if I feel like they are trying to pull one over on me, I'm a strong mother. I am 32 years old. I'm 32. I think I'm 32. I don't even know. I'm fine. I'll make it through. Whew, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm kind of dramatic. But you know what? This is real life. This is what I'm stressing about right now. So I feel the need to, uh, to just talk through it with you guys so I love you I'm going to hopefully um, make it through this and I I'm sure it will be literally not nearly as bad as I am making it out to be but um yeah this dentist office also does not accept my insurance which in reality I was like 
this is not covered by insurance anyways so I was like I don't care I didn't really look for one in specific to cover my insurance but they don't take our insurance so they called me back letting me know and I was like that's fine I know that this isn't covered by insurance anyways so let's just move along because literally I called like so many dentists and nobody was open or they were like yeah we have an appointment Monday and I'm like hmm that didn't go work for me that isn't gonna work for me so okay I'll see you guys in bed oh, wish me luck. I know all of that sounded absolutely insane but I'm sure at least one person can relate to having anxiety about things that to the average person may seem really silly but to the person who's dealing with it it's not silly so I'm just trying to show you that anxiety happens for seemingly to some people no reason but to you and I <sighs> okay let's do this a couple of things they were able to fill it without taking off any of my other tooth, which is nice. It is kind of a different shape than my other one. It's more square versus round, but it is what it is. I know they did the best that they could do. Um, so, what was I gonna say? This dentist did not take my insurance, which I knew that going into it. I was fully aware of that. Um, that cost me like 400 bucks. Which was fine. I expected similar to that. They tried to, or they talked to me about a couple of different things. Overall, it was a good experience. I'm not, I was very anxious in there, but yes, they came out with the, there's a separate person that comes out and I guess that's just protocol. I guess I grew up in a small town where that wasn't a thing, where the, it wasn't a thing. So she came out, she had the iPad and she's like, this visit's gonna be, um, cause the doctor talked to me about um, grinding my teeth, which I know I grind my teeth. I need to get a night guard. So she, we talked about a night guard. So the lady, I didn't say I wanted it or anything. She just talked to me about a night guard. And then the lady with the iPad came out with the freaking night guard on there. So she's like, your total for today is going to be $1,600. And I was like, uh huh? I was like, excuse me? And that was the price of the night guard. It was like, it was like 1200 bucks or something like that. And I was like, we're gonna hold off on the night guard. Let me like, you know, let's just get this one thing taken care of and move forward. Because to be honest with you, these people aren't gonna be my forever, is this me, Jim? My forever dentist for the sheer fact of they don't take my insurance. So they're not going to be a regular dentist for me. Unfortunately, I get that they wanted my business, but unfortunately they don't accept my insurance. I, this was an emergency sort of thing that I needed to get done. So that's what all I was looking for out of this appointment. I do you need to establish a dentist down here, but nonetheless. Um, Cheryl, hit me up. What's a good dentist? You're my go-to for like everything. Um, but anyway, so I was like, okay, I know I need that. And then she was talking to me. I know I will need um, veneer eventually on that too. There's only so much they can do, only so many times they can fill it, yada, yada, yada. I'm fully, fully aware of that. But then she talked about Invisalign, which I had been talked to about this in the past. I think this is my turn. No, this is my turn. I've been spoken to about Invisalign in the past because technically this tooth hits this corner of the tooth. So technically that is what's causing this tooth to continue to break off. And I grind my teeth. I grind my teeth so bad during the day. I just clench my jaw. Um, and I grind my teeth and he said if you're doing it during the day you are doing it 10 times worse at night so I'm aware of this it's not good I get it I, I don't know where the heck I'm going I probably should have googled this thing thing um and so uh yeah I'm aware that I need to get that figured out what that situation exactly looks like, I don't know. Like, am I going, it's the next one, okay. Am I going to, um, it, a night guard's not gonna fix my clenching. My clenching comes from something. Stress, I know I'm an overly stressed out person. Um, so yeah, I need to figure out the root of why I am clenching my jaw at night and even throughout the day. Um, so that's number one. I want to get to the root of that problem instead of just masking it, if that makes sense. So the night guard, $1,200. I know I need a night guard. I think that I wanted to research first, basically what I told them. I was like, I'm not doing anything until I figure out if my my insurance even covers that because maybe they'll cover a portion of it and that would be you know better than paying $1,200. And so, and I also looked up the 
average price of a night garden, it was like anywhere from 600 to a thousand dollars. And I was like, 1200, that seems a little stupid. Well, whatever. So, um, what am I getting at? <laughs> Basically, I said no to that. I know I need Invisalign. And then she eventually said, yes, you will probably, Invisalign would help take the pressure off it, probably alleviate your issue a little bit longer to then get veneers. So it wasn't that bad, but definitely they tried to throw the $1,200 night guard in there. Um, and I know I need a night guard. I bought a cheap one off Amazon. I need to get better fitted for one, but I'm going to call my insurance, see if they cover it. If not, then we'll go down that route. Um, but yeah, I don't, I just, I don't know. I, yeah, I know that's what I need. I know I clenched my jaw, but I would like to get to the root of that. But I don't ever remember clenching my jaw before. Like, I just don't. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, that's where we're at. I think that it looks presentable. It looks a bit different than what it did before, but... No one's probably gonna know. Even Scott was like, no one even notices your chip. You notice it because you know what you're looking for. Tons of people have chips in their front teeth. It's completely normal. And I get that. Um, but like, I just know that if I had left it at that fragile of stage, it would have kept breaking even more. So I wanted to just get it fixed right away so that it didn't get worse, if that makes sense. So done, in and out, <laughs> good. I feel a little bit more at ease, but yes, in the dentist's office, I was very anxious, and they did. They tried to sell me a $1,200 night guard. A am I saying that I don't need it? Absolutely not, but like, I mean, just, I don't know, like, I get it. I mean, I spend a lot of money on dumb crap, but like, I guess I'm gonna research first and foremost if my insurance even covers it. Like, does that not make sense to the average person than just to just like give $1,200 for it, you know? So, I don't know if y'all had good experience um, buying the ones that you can like pre-mold yourself if you had good experiences with them if not I mean I know that buying one from the dentist is probably the best option but other thing is if I get Invisalign I'm gonna spend $1,200 on a night guard to then have to get Invisalign to then have to get a new night guard it just seems like a lot of money you know I don't know so that was my experience. I feel much better. Thank you for talking me off the ledge. You probably all were like, you're nuts. And I'm like, I know that's nothing new, but um, Westgate Dental is where I went and I have no issues with them. They were fine. They were nice. They were professional. They just tried to sell me a $1,200 night guard and this girl is not buying it. <laughs> any of you grind your teeth what are different solutions you've had I've heard of Botox in the jaw I'm wondering if it's so much I wish that I don't know I don't know I just need to figure it out that's basically the moral of the story I need to figure out why I clenched my jaw get to the root of it I like to get to the roots of problems not just being like here's this to temporarily solve this issue no I want to get to the core of it so I can figure out why any of this is happening to begin with like why am I overtly stressed overly stressed for me overly stressed that I'm doing this I don't remember ever doing this in the past I clench my jaw so bad at night sometimes you guys that I misalign my teeth so that it hurts the next day to chew on certain things that's how bad it gets sometimes so I know I have a problem but a night guard is not gonna fix that it's going to help from the problem getting worse but it's not the reason why I'm doing it to begin with so Pray for me. Lord help me. All right. Let's go home. See my little stinky booty. That's so excited. Call him stinky booty. I don't know why. Do y'all call your your um significant others, your child, your dog, weird names? I do. And Arlo's a stinky booty. But he in his in my defense, he farts on me all the time. And thinks it's the funniest thing. But I think just like being a mom is stressful. Right? I, I mean, if you really think of my year of 2020 is when I think that I hit a whole nother level of stress. I had a baby. I got a new job. I had a baby. I quit my job and I lost my mom in the year 2020. And I have not recovered since, <laughs> since then. I feel like I've changed a lot as a person. Um, and I don't know if any amount of therapy is gonna fix me. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, shut up. Okay, love you, bye. Carlo, why don't we just pick one for right now and we make the other one tomorrow? That one? You want chocolate? 
You want to do the bats? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do the bats. I need my kitchen. I figured they could do that tomorrow if they really wanted to. I don't know if she'll want to, but. I don't know if she like trusts herself with like the stove and stuff. Okay. Let's make a little bit higher of a um, what? tripod. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, I didn't know. You didn't know? Yeah. All right. Want to come over closer? Yeah. Well, hang on to your booties. Should we you wash your hands first? Um. Yeah. Yep. I need soap. Okay, I'll get you some soap. Hold on. Let me make sure that the water is not too warm. Perfect. Go. Yeah. Oh, they're dutchless. Hey, baby. Let's wait. Dry your hands off. Let's dry them. Mm -hmm. Let's dry them, and then I'll help you. Okay. All right. Let's make cookies. Let's make cookies. What? And the bubble machine. And the bubble and started it. Watch Instagram. Oh. All right, we are using a nonstick. Um, I need my sheet. plate. No, I don't need, need a nonstick. Two parchment paper instead. Well, it says, but it says, three seventy-five or three fifty for nonstick. Um, Is the convection mm. different on a nonstick versus? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I don't All need right, we we'll need, can you get some vegetable oil? And a bowl? What? And a tablespoon measurement. What are those? Um, ice! Oh my goodness, that's so scary. Can we eat that? Well, we're gonna eat them, yes we are. Do you wanna try one first? Yeah. Okay. One. Just one, okay. Which color? On my plate. What color, brown, orange, or yellow? Just one. <laughs> I said one. One of every color, try the yellow. What do you think? That's it. We gotta wait for the cookies. I don't know. Yep. What's that? All right, look, Daddy's got it. Okay. Right. So, in the bowl. Do you wanna dump it? And Arlo can hold the tablespoon and then he can dump it over. You pour the oil into the tablespoon while he's holding it. May I have the scoop? Yep. Yeah, but you're, I'm going to pour into right. the scoop. Daddy's going to hold the scooper over top of the bowl. Yep, hold the scooper. Hold it like this, and then wait for Daddy to... Daddy's going to put stuff in it. Put okay. it up here. So hold it very, very still. Um, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Honey? Okay, no, oh, oil. drop it this way. Good job. Good job. Now do that one more time. Drop it. All done. Okay, and then one tablespoon of water. Okay, gentle stirs. I'm making cookies. I know you're making cookies. Okay, mommy's gonna pull out the dough and then you're gonna roll it into balls, okay? Yeah. It's gonna fold. You're gonna go like this? Yeah. I'm not sure. And then we'll put I'm it right here on the. Doing. Okay, I'm going to just leave it there. Now we'll take this ball and roll it. Okay. Like this. And Daddy's in the charge of the flattening. Okay, all done. Put it here. That was really good, dude. There you go, there's another one. Okay, ready? Yeah. So, do you want to help spread out the chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Take your knife and go like this. You hold the cookie and you go like this. I'm gonna do it. You wanna squeeze or you wanna spread? Um, I wanna squeeze. Whoa, noise. I'm gonna do the knife. Ow. 
Okay, hold your cookie. I want to eat it. No, because we have to decorate it. We decorate them first so they look like really cute little bats. Ah, good spreading. Keep going. More like this. Hold on to your cookie and go like this. Use the knife flat. Most definitely Arlo's cookie. <laughs> Biscossing, Arlito. Let's nice go, Arlo. You see the picture? Look at the picture. Yeah. And then show me where the two eyeballs go on this one. There's two eyeballs. Where do they go? Um, to the pool. All right, put them on there. Good job, buddies. Now you want to put some chocolates on it? Yeah. Look, see how these ones are decorated? How cute, those are not cute. <laughs> awesome, all right, let's eat them.